Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a handbag haul. I have one, two, three, four handbags that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. A couple of them you've probably already seen on my Instagram um, or Instagram stories, but a couple of them maybe you haven't. And I feel like all my OG subscribers are going to love this video because I don't think I've ever done like a handbag haul where I'm like showing you guys things that I haven't shown you already in one video. I don't know or like yet on my youtube channel if that makes sense i never make sense okay i'm just gonna go ahead and start the first handbag that i got was actually sent to me from the amazing teddy blake i have such a good relationship with that company just because i really believe um in that company i think it's so hard to find luxury quality handbags for a price point that you know a lot of us could afford it's just really hard to find quality for a good price point so i really believe in teddy blake and i have a really good relationship with one of the reps that i um, email back and forth with she's so sweet so she had reached out to me and asked me if i wanted to try out one of their newer style bags and of course i was like yes girl please um so they sent me this beautiful tote bag it is called the alice and it's just a black beautiful simple tote bag now I pretty much flipped out when they sent me this. I mean, let's be honest, I wasn't shocked. The quality was amazing. And like I said, I wasn't surprised that the quality was so good. I have two other handbags from them that are just so incredibly gorgeous. First of all, it is like the most gorgeous, sophisticated tote bag I have ever seen. Um, and I've felt like the Saint Laurent tote bags. I've felt like the Alexander McQueen tote bags. This is just really 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 impressive I have to say and my favorite part about the bag that you know made my jaw drop was this gorgeous red suede like inside it's like stunning and it also comes with this cute little pouch that says Teddy Blake New York on it it also says Teddy Blake New York on the front of the bag now this is very comparable in size to like the Louis Vuitton MM a lot of you guys were asking me if I prefer this over my GM or do I prefer my GM to me they're yes they're both tote bags but they're totally different like the Louis canvas bags like that's a bag that I take to the beach or I take like as a weekender or on the plane and I would take this on the plane too but I wouldn't be like kicking it under the seat or you know what I mean like I could I feel like I could be very rough with the canvas this is something that um, does feel very substantial but I wouldn't be taking it on the beach and just throwing it on the sand and stuff like that like I would be way more careful with this bag it's very professional looking it's something you could stick your laptop in or folders like it's really good for the working girl or if you just want like a very sophisticated simple tote bag I think it's beautiful and also comes in other colors so their bags are made in Italy I've talked about you know kind of the whole company in itself in the first unboxing that I did with one of the handbags maybe with the other handbag that I got from them as well for the Eva um, I love those bags so much and I go more into detail with the company but long story short it is a New York based company that gets their handbags made in Italy um, they feel and have the quality of luxury handbags but do not have the price point of luxury handbags still kind of up there it's not they're not cheap by any means um but it's a lot more affordable for someone that wants quality bags for a good price point um they did give me a discount code it's the same one that they gave me last time and it's tb lisa 20 to get 20 dollars off of your purchase i believe the site if you sign up for it it's 35 percent off the site and then with my code you get an additional 20 dollars off of that so i think that's a great deal and i'll have everything linked below for you guys anything that i there's one bag i can't link below but anything else i'm gonna have linked below for you guys in the description box so the next bag when i showed this on instagram um you guys lost your chisnet it is such a dope bag and i'm i'm obsessed with it but i literally could not get back to all the dms i get stopped on the street when i wear this bag it's very eye-catching it's fun for summer and it's a nod to the whole pvc bag trend clear bag trend and it's this baby right here it's a clear iridescent mermaid firkin as i like to say because it's a faux birkin and it's just a cheap plastic bag from amazon okay and i am 
so obsessed. The size is amazing. It's kind of comparable to like my Alexander McQueen little padlock mini bag. It's a little bit bigger than the City Mini, um, Balenciaga City Mini. But yeah, this is just a bag off of Amazon. Now everybody has the whole Chanel PVC clear handbag trend thing going on and I love them. I think they're fantastic but I wanted something a little different. And of course I had to do it with like a little bit more rainbowy mermaid flair. It's just so cool and so fun and it's a really cute summer bag. I don't know how much more I could talk about a plastic bag, but I really do love it. You could kind of see, you know, your items in it, but not as much as if it were to be completely clear like the other clear bags on the market, which I would love to have this bag in like a solid clear one too, but this just this just spoke to me when I saw this. I I had to have it. So it's like kind of like a 25 centimeter smaller type of bag. It also comes with a crossbody strap which this look this bag looks so cute with my little gold chain strap that you guys know I have on my pochette accessories all the time um but I will say because it's plastic and cheap you know the handles are kind of sharp here ignore my nails please I just ripped off my acrylics but the, on the inside of the handles where they're like finished I guess sewn together or where they're stitching it is sharp plastic so you just kind of have to be careful like you can pinch your can pinch your hand in that but this I definitely get a lot of attention when I'm wearing it but I do love it and you guys went crazy so I'm gonna link it below for you guys next up I guess isn't a handbag technically it's a belt bag but I mean to me it's a handbag and I'm, I use it as a bag because I carry my stuff in it and it's this belt bag by Steve Madden it's just a faux leather quilted Chanel inspired belt bag now I was on the hunt for a Chanel inspired fanny pack or belt bag for a long time. I really wanted something with like an extra chain dangling. Um, I wanted something quilted and I, it definitely had to have the chain wrap for your waist. That was something that I really wanted. And I've seen a lot on the high street, but they just looked kind of like, I don't know, like a waste of money or like something I would buy for my niece, like my niece or something like that. And then my friend Memo had this bag and she was like, oh, it's from Steve Madden. She wears it all the time and she loves it. So I went ahead and copied my friend Memo and she, she didn't mind. She didn't care. Um, it is just the cutest thing ever. It's kind of pricey for Steve Madden. I'm not someone that like goes and buys Steve Madden bags. It's like, if I like it and it happens to be Steve Madden, then I'm going to get it. You guys know I love doing the whole dupe thing on the high street. I think it's just fun and cool. And I love the way this looks when it's like hanging off of my waist. And it, this will actually look really cute with, with like a bag charm or something. And it's really comfortable just to carry under your arm like this. And of course crossbody like all the cool kids are wearing their belt bags. But yeah, I just thought this was really fun. I wore it to the Melrose Trading Post flea market the other day, and that is where I got my next handbag that I'm going to share with you guys, and I got compliments on it. So I really like it. It's very simple. There's nothing, like, crazy for me to, like, talk about. My one complaint would be, like, the price point for it. I just don't think it's worth the price point, even though I do think it's pretty well made. It has, like, a micro fiber like, suede inside and it carries your essentials. It kind of looks like it could carry a lot, but it doesn't. It's just sort of essentials, and that's that's pretty much it. Last but not least is my vintage Chanel quilted camera bag, I guess you could say. I got this from the Melrose Trading Post that is every Sunday on Fairfax and Melrose in Los Angeles. Every time I suggest that place, I feel like a couple of you guys DM me like, oh, I was out in LA and I went to the went to the trading post and it was just really overpriced and super expensive um, and I get a lot of complaints. Well, you know, places like that, especially in LA where it's like a bunch of hipsters and that is just the trend out here and people go there for like their wardrobe and stuff like that. Like they, you know, the sellers could profit from people in LA. It's just what it is out here. Nothing is technically cheap at those kinds. I mean, you could definitely score on something cheaper, but before anyone bashes like the trading post, like, no, this wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but it beats digging in a thrift store for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I mean, granted, I love doing that, but I have to be in the mood. So it kind of, it, you know, they do it for you type of thing. So just no one talk crap about the trading post. I love it very, very much. My friends have a um, booth there. I will put their Instagram bo below. It's 1980 something. And um, they have amazing vintage, you know, cops there. So definitely check out their Instagram and he can um, ship you guys stuff from like his Depop and stuff. Anyways, 
I found this at a different booth. I sort of just, my boyfriend was looking at something else and I was like, I'll be back. I saw it hanging. I don't know how anyone else didn't like come across it. I instantly fell in love. My OG subscribers definitely know that I was looking for a vintage Chanel bag that had the chevron print and it's in really good condition on the outside. So I got a good deal on it because it is kind of tore up. I have the chain strap tucked in because it's actually like the chain is kind of like um, the leather is coming out of the chain. I don't want anything to happen to it. I think I'm gonna send it to like the leather doctors or what is it called? The leather surgeons? Surgeon? I don't know. Or I'm gonna take it to a really good shoe repair place in Beverly Hills called Progressive. Um, so that's coming undone. And then also to the inside, I'm using it right now. That's why I have my stuff in here. The inside is detaching from the back. So it was, again, it wasn't the cheapest thing, but also too, it was a really good deal for a vintage Chanel bag. Um, and I got it for a really good price because it was kind of falling apart. So it's very fixable. So I am sort of just using it as is right now and just hoping for the best, but I did wear it today like just a clutch under the arm Arm, just to sort of save the strap until I get it fixed. My favorite feature about the bag is that this is a front pocket. I literally almost died when I saw that this was a pocket. Let me show you my phone. My 8 Plus fits in here perfectly going this way and it is just the easiest little pocket to pull my phone in and out of and I'm just so in love with this bag. It's so incredibly vintage Chanel. I don't know. It just like screams vintage Chanel. So I'm really, really in love with it. Um, and that is it. Those are my four recent handbag splurges. Of course, I did just before this get the Alexander McQueen. So I'm going a little handbag crazy and I need to calm down. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's been a while since I posted. You guys know that once I have the time and I'm in the mood, I will film. And here I am. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.